guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is part two of my collaboration with my cousin Bethany. Um, you'll know her as Beth Knight on YouTube. I will link her channel down below for you. As part of our collaboration, we wanted to do a makeup look using the products that we hauled in our previous video. So if you enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, that way you'll never miss another one of my videos again. And please don't forget to check out the description box below for a full list of the products that I've used today. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so I've already done all of my face makeup because I don't have any Colourpop cheek products and also Colourpop, if you don't know, don't do um, foundation based products like that. Um, you'll notice I have also done some eyeshadow. I don't have any Colourpop eyeshadows so basically I just took um, some warm brown shades and blended them into my crease and my outer corner. Um, so I used a light warm brown, a medium warm brown and then dark warm brown and I just blended them onto my eyes. So the first product I'm going to use from my Colourpop collection is um, Mr Bing. It's a crumb gel pot liner. You'll see I've used it quite a bit actually. Just going to create a nice winged liner and I am using my usual eyeliner brush. This is just a, I think it's like a zero, yeah, a zero zero sized um, detail paintbrush. It's not actually a makeup brush but I, I have always used this for my eyeliner. Um, so I'm just dipping that into Mr Bing and I like to make sure that my eyeliner lid always stays on so I'm just making sure that I'm tightening that every time I have got the product onto my brush. So I'm just going to start my start with my wing so I've drawn a line going out from the outer corner of my eye and I'm going to connect that back onto my eyelid like so Sharpen up that line a little bit and fill in my wing. And then I'm going to go three quarters of the way onto my actual onto my eyelid with the Mr. Bing eyeliner. And what I've got on my brush now, I'm not going to top it up because I want the product to kind of like fade out. So I'm depositing most of it there, and then I'm just kind of fading it out along my eyelid. Well, that's the wing applied to both eyes. Next I am going to take the colour Dirty Talk which is another creme gel liner and this is a nice golden colour and I'm going to fill in the inner part of my winged eyeliner. I'm, kind I'm of using the same brush but I have cleaned it off. The brown eyeliner. And I am really loading up this eyeliner on there because it's gold. It um, it tends to get a little bit dry and flaky quite easily. So I find if I load up more than I would normally use onto my brush, then it kind of applies a bit easier. So 
so I'm just going to apply that on my inner fur. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. You'll see I've kind of like lined it up to the wing as well, just here. like continuing it along the top of the wing but I'm basically just like flaking it along there because I don't want it to be like intense I just want it to be a sort of gradient but still noticeable that whoa there's something a bit funky going on with that brown eyeliner so I'm just going to do again the same thing on the other eye and then I'll be right back so now I'm going to apply a mascara I'm just using my MAC um, False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara and um, I'm just going to do that off camera as well and um, yeah and to finish off the eyes I am going to run my um, Colourpop Creme Gel Pencil Liner in the shade Honey Dude and I'm going to run that into my waterline like so and that is the eyes done so now I'm going to move on to the face and I'm actually going to be doing some fake freckles um, but I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with those because I'm going to be using the creme gel liner in get paid which is a nice kind of coppery rose gold color again I'm using my eyeliner brush to do this and my eyeliner brush has been cleaned I already have freckles so it's pretty easy for me to kind of figure out where my freckles should be because my freckles are mostly on the centre of my face and then they kind of fade up like this on onto my cheekbones. I don't really get them on my forehead or anywhere else, it's just down my nose and across my, my cheekbones really. Um, so thing you need to remember with false freckles is that natural freckles are lots of different shapes and sizes so if you just dab your brush in a random pattern and don't really like worry about where you're placing it you'll get a pretty realistic effect because freckles aren't uniform <laughs> they really aren't so I'm concentrating most of my freckles um, in this area here and then I'll kind of dot a few up my cheekbone. I am already wearing highlighter but I'm not going to worry about that, I'm just going to go over the top. And I do have a couple like further up on my face here. And if you make a mistake, um, if you're quite quick with this product, you can tap it away with your finger. But yeah, you have to be very quick because these gel liners dry down really fast. So that's just my bigger freckles that I'm going to do. So I'm just dipping back into the eyeliner as I need to and I can kind of see my freckles through my foundation so I'm sort of I'm not like following exact freckles I'm just placing the product down where I've got freckles that I can see So 
don't know if you can tell there, but as it dries it becomes a little bit more difficult to use. Um, but I will show you a way to kind of correct mistakes like that in a minute. Um, I thought it would be quite cool to use a rose gold colour to do the freckles because I thought it would look a little bit different. And this is actually something that I like to do from time to time just to, um, like if I'm wearing a full coverage foundation, some days I want to have my freckles on show. So I just draw in false ones. I'll usually just use Mr. Bing or a brown eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is probably like the most natural looking product to use. But I find a gel eyeliner um, lasts longer. Okay, so I'm now gonna take a damp um, beauty sponge. This is just one by Real Techniques. Um, I use this one all the time. It's very, very damp, it's very, very bouncy and I'm just going to lightly bounce that over the freckles that I've got so far, specifically the ones that are too dark. And you want to make sure that you press down and lift directly up, don't smudge the freckles. This one I'm pressing quite hard into it because I really want this one to fade quite significantly. So for the next phase of freckles, I'm actually going to be using a nail art tool. This is just a small to dotting tool. It came in a set of um, nail art brushes from Poundland, believe it or not. And again, I'm still using the um, Get Paid liner. I'm just loading it up, loading it up onto the dotting tool, and then I'm going to be using that to make smaller dots. I'm going to be concentrating most of these um, in and around my nose area. Though I will dot the occasional one further out as well. And this is a lot more intense than my natural freckles are. as I'm going along. Because they're smaller they do dry quicker, which means they're hard to block away afterwards. I'm quite happy with the placement of those, so I'm going to block over the top of all of them with my damp sponge to further dampen out some of the colour. 
because some of them are a little bit too intense. The other thing I like to do to kind of take down the intensity of the colour is to use a translucent setting powder on a damp sponge. I'm just using my Beauty Blender now because this is what I used before. This is what I usually use with this product. And I'm using my NYX um, HD Photogenic Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just going to lightly pat that over the top. That's my freckles complete. So to finish off this look, I'm going to be applying my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Stick in the colour Limbo. This is actually my favourite colour lipstick at the moment. I just can't stop wearing it. <laughs> I think I've worn it to work a good four or five times now since I've got it. Again, as per usual, I'm not using lip liner because this is a liquid lip product.